In this lecture, we are going to set up virtual host on a Mac. First thing we're going to do is to ensure that map is running. So if you're using ZAMP, make sure that ZAMP is running. All right, so ZAMP is running right now and you can see the default page. To create a virtual host on a Mac, we need to first of all ensure that we have enabled it so that Apache knows that this is something that we want to use. So because I am using map, I'm going to go over to the map folder inside of applications. Look for conf and then Apache. And then what we need here is HTTPD conf. Right, so I'm going to open a terminal. Then we're going to change directory to Apache folder. Do a listing. And then we want to open HTTPD conf. All right, so what we now need to do is look for the line where that directory for virtual host is and enable it. Okay, so it should be around here. All right, it should be around here. You can see the virtual host. We just need to enable it by removing the comment. So you press I to insert, backspace to remove the comment, escape, shift and semicolon to give you a column, WQ to write and quit. All right, so we have saved that. Our next step now is to do exactly the same thing that we did on Windows. We are going to edit the Apache extra httpd-vhost.conf file. So we are going to edit it and then specify the path to where our project is. So that file should be here. Should be the last one here. Httpd-vhost. So come here, VIM, and then just drag this here. Hit the enter key. Right, so you can see that the file is similar to the one that we used on Windows. So we're going to do the exact same thing, I to insert. So I'm going to copy what we need and just paste it inside of here. Right, so just copy the directive and then paste it here. This will be for the default applications map htdocs. And then the next one will be for the first site. And for that, I'm going to paste it here. So this will be applications map htdocs first underscore site. And then the URL that we want to use is local.lenphp.dev the exact same that we used on Windows. Okay, so I'm going to save this. Escape, Shift and Semicolon, WQ, Write and Quit. And then finally, we are going to add the entry to the host file. So on Mac to get the host file, VIM, we probably need to do this as admin, sudo VIM slash FC slash host. All right, so requesting for the password. So we're going to create one more entry here. I to insert 127.0.0.1 tab. And then I'm just going to paste what I copied earlier. Loca.lenphp.dev. So escape, shift and semicolon, WQ. All right, so final step is to restart our map server. Stop server. And then restart it. All right, so now let's try on the browser, see if we can get to the site. All right, so you see the welcome home page is still loading using the default because of the first entry. So now we want to try loca.lenphp.dev. 
right you see that we can actually see load the page so this is how simple it is to set up virtual host on your local machine the first step is to add an entry to httpd vhost.conf which is located inside of your server root if you are using map it will be application map conf apache extra httpd vhost.conf right this is the first step after you have already enabled virtual host which was the first thing that we did so to enable virtual host you need to actually go to applications map conf apache httpd conf so inside of there remember we uncommented the line that enabled virtual host after that we need to add an entry to our host file which you can find in slash etc slash host and then the final step will be to restart the server so the steps are similar for any operating system that you're using if you're using linux you're using send os or whatever flavor of linux you're using this step is exactly the same the location of the files may be different all you need to do is just do a little google search for location of each of the files as long as you know that you are looking to change apache configurations so the files should always be inside of the apache folder all right see you in the next lecture